Hi, this is your teacher, Paul. With the coronavirus outbreak now in full swing, I've noticed that a lot of YouTubers are making videos addressing this directly, and I thought I would do the same. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So when given a bad situation, you have to try to make the best of it or try to make something new from it. In this video, I'll go through some vocabulary related to the coronavirus outbreak. Some of this vocabulary you might already know, but uh, at least you can practice your English. And I'll put some of these words and various terms into sentences. Pandemic. A pandemic is an outbreak of disease that's widespread. This prefix pan indicates that the uh, disease is spread throughout the world. Virus. A virus is a very, very small living organism that duplicates itself inside a host, such as a human body. Hunker down. To hunker down is to remain in one place, usually your home, and you stay there for an extended period of time until an emergency situation passes. Panic buying. When there's any sort of uncertainty about the future, sometimes people will go to the store, the grocery store, and buy as much food as they can because they're not sure of when that food will be available in the future. So now people are engaged in panic buying. This panic buying includes other things such as toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and soap. So if you go to the store and you can't find what you need, it's because there's been a lot of panic buying. A person who panics does something out of fear. Here's the word as a, a verb or as a noun. And panicking is the situation. Notice a difference in spelling. Panic and then panicking. In this case, you need to add the K and then the I-N-G ending. Panicking. People are panicking. A quarantine refers to an area that is sealed off to other people. So a government can impose a quarantine and say that people can neither enter nor leave an area. Or if a person realizes he or she has the coronavirus, then they might do a self-quarantine and then keep themselves away from other people. So if you think you have the virus, then you might go into self-quarantine and stay away from other people. Contact tracing. One person has the virus, and then there's an effort to tell anyone who had contact with that person that this person is infected. And then these people can tell others that they had contact with this person. Contagious. A person who is contagious can spread the virus to other people. Symptoms. Symptoms are the physical condition that indicate a person has some sort of a sickness. So with the coronavirus, the symptoms are a dry cough. So it kind of sounds like this. <coughs> That's a dry cough. 
There's no phlegm coming up. And then it's also possible a person has a fever. That's a very common uh, symptom. And then also there's difficulty breathing. In some cases, people are having trouble breathing because their lungs are filling up with some sort of a substance that makes it difficult to breathe. This is, in some cases, similar to pneumonia. Of course, I'm not a doctor, so if you exhibit any of these symptoms, see a doctor. Fever. Your body temperature is higher than normal. So normal in the Fahrenheit scale is 98.6. If your temperature is 100 or 102 or 104, then you have a fever. On the Celsius scale, a normal temperature is 37. So if your temperature is 38 or 39 or 40, then you have a fever. She has a fever. She has a temperature. These are about the same. Or you could also say she feels hot. This is when another person puts the hand on the forehead and feels the forehead and would say something like he feels hot or she feels hot. This is how my mother took my temperature. She put her hand on my forehead and then she knew. A person who is symptomatic is showing symptoms indicating that he or she has a virus. But in this case, the coronavirus is being spread or it's thought that it's being spread by people who are pre-symptomatic. They're not showing symptoms yet or they're asymptomatic they have the virus, but they're not exhibiting any sort of symptoms. Or their illness is fairly mild, but they have the virus and they're spreading it to other people without anyone realizing it.